And welcome to CCN Network TV Entertainment News for February 4th, 2020. So Oprah is busted for promoting a colonized book on brown people by white author. Troy Mason, Yolanda Adams' first husband and five facts you need to know. Cardi B reminds Tommy Lauren she will dog walk her following Jay-Z and Beyonce comment. And Dwayne Wade asks someone to take Terry Crews' phone after five-part apology to Gabrielle Union. Let's get to this news. When it comes to the book American Dirt, the world is hearing from the lovers and the haters, but not so much from the voices in between. Released about a week ago, the book has become a bestseller on Amazon as well as Barnes and Nobles. It has been swamped, however, with controversy. It's arguably the kind of publicity money can't buy. American Dirt was written by Janine Cummings, who is white, about a Mexican mother who flees the country with her son after a drug cartel kills their family. Cummings who has been accused of cultural appropriation because of her identity. She is not Mexican or an immigrant, but Latino readers and writers say she is perpetuating a Latino stereotype. Some even say she ha may have copied the work of Latino writers, such as Mexican-American poet and novelist Luis Alberto. Cummings, who was born in Spain, and she identifies as white, however. Oprah loves American Dirt. She read the novel last summer before it was released to the public. In a video posted on Sunday on Instagram, Oprah talked about her latest book club selection, saying she's heard the criticism from the Latinx community, but she's not dumping the novel. Instead, she plans to lean all the way in, hosting a discussion that will bring together all sides of the debate for an episode in March for her Apple TV book club series. Troy Mason, the ex-husband of gospel superstar Yolanda Adams, took to the stage at the Super Bowl on Sunday to perform America the Beautiful prior to the matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs in Miami. According to Mason's LinkedIn profile, he studied computer science at Lemire University in Beaumont, Texas, which is 90 minutes east of Houston. He later attended Texas Southern State University, where he studied business, starting there after Yolanda Adams graduated. According to their marriage records, however, the two were married on June 25th of 1988. In a 2002 interview with Jet Magazine, she spoke of her marriage and cautioned women not to fall in love with the pretty face without finding out what's underneath. You never know, you never find out what's in a man's package because you're too busy looking at the package. A lot of men tend to do, a lot of women tend to do that, she says. Oh girl, he's so fine. Oh girl, I gotta have him. You don't know if he goes to church or not, or... You don't know if he worships Satan. You're so head over heels in love with him because of the physical that the spiritual and the emotional and all that other kind of stuff wind up taking a back burner and should be at the forefront. They divorced in 1990 amidst domestic violence allegations. While Tommy Lawrence constant criticism of Jay-Z and Beyonce is annoying, the rebuttals do create for amazing content. For example, Lauren's recap of Jigga's drug dealing past served as a perfect interlude on his song where Hove raps about how good he was at selling cocaine. Now, Lauren's latest jab has riled up Cardi B, who is offering to take care of Beyonce's light work. Jay-Z and Beyonce made headlines on Sunday for refusing to stand for the national anthem at the Super Bowl, naturally upsetting the right-wing conservatives. In response to Lauren once again making reference to Jay-Z's previous profession like he didn't admit to losing 92 bricks. Beyonce and Jay-Z, former crack dealer 
set for the national anthem because apparently the United States has oppressed them with millions upon millions of dollars in fans. Lauren tweeted, sounds rough. Maybe they should try another country that allows them a little more freedom and success. A Cardi B fan alerted her to Lauren's diss, leading the rapper to threaten to dog walk the political pundit. A series of tweets on Friday, Cruz apologized to the actress for saying he's never witnessed any racism she said took place during the NBC production. The actress, who was fired from the talent show after one season, Cruz's apology began by recalling a past conversation he had with the comedian Kevin Hart. He said, I told at Kevin Hart for real a while ago that he needed to acknowledge the pain of others. Right now, I have to do the same. I want to apologize for the comments I made. I realize that there are a lot of black women hurt and let down by what I said and by, also by what I didn't say. Cruz wrote, seamlessly referring to the controversy surrounding old homophobic tweets from the entertainer. He went on to say <clears throat> it was distasteful tweets he made the response to the backlash over his lack of allyship. The tweets, one of which implied he only had to please his wife and no one else, confirmed his lack of solidarity with black women who were his main champions after he alleged movie executive Alan Vint Vintit uh, sexually assaulted him at a party in 2017. I allowed my disrespectful comments directed at me and my family to cause me to act angrily instead of responding thoughtfully, the 51-year-old said. This certainly caused more harm and it is my hope that I can amend any pain that I've caused those who were hurt by my words. Cruz finally directly addressed Union in another tweet saying, I want you to know that I've never, it was never my intention to invalidate your experience, but that is what I did. I apologize. He also went on to say, you are a role model for the entire black community and in my desire to be a professionally neutral as your co-worker, I should have at the very least understood that you just needed my support. However, to all of this, Dwayne Wade, the husband of Gabrielle Union, tweeted, someone please take Terry Cruz's phone. He was not here for any of it. So if you have And thank you for tuning in to CCN Network TV Entertainment News. Hope that you like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment and let me know what you think about these stories and more. And as always, be the change that you want to see.